Lalaloo is calling you from the land of vampires. Boo! Today, we'll show you the life of a rich vampire from an ancient clan and one talented but poor vampire. Check it out only on Lalaloo. Cut a dress for a rich vampire out of black knitted fabric. Add a couple of sleeves so it looks more like a dress for a vampire queen. Christy wears a lacy cravat with a ruby. Decorate the outfit with beads. Add a pocket, so the vampire can hide her ruby pocket watch. Make a tall collar out of red feathers. Glittery glue will cover the attachment points. Decorate the sleeves with lacy cuffs. Wow! A gold cord as a belt will bring out her waist. Decorate the edge with black lace, rhinestones, and glitter. A dark beauty salon will create a special hairstyle for Christy. And the dentist made her fangs even whiter. There is a cape behind the vampire's back. You can hear the sound of her high heel shoes clicking. Christy's look really matches her interior design. Do you see the castle behind her? Its towers have stood for centuries, scaring all the people around it. The interior design is dark and elegant. Welcome to my home! <laughs> the best vampires worked on this design. Each detail was chosen carefully. I'm sorry, I need to hunt. I'll just bring my crystal purse. See you! <laughs> Let's work on the look for a poor vampire named Terry. She loves her smoky eye look. Make her pupils longer. Highlight the eyebrows. Terry wears black lipstick. This way her fangs look even whiter. It's a perfect vampire look! Are there some bald spots on the head? It's okay. We can cover them with black acrylic paint. Paint the hair black, too. It's a great way to save money. No need to buy hair extensions. Use dry pastels to make the face paler. Make a messy hairstyle. Terry's clothes look worn out. They have so many holes. Put on torn fishnets. Add a skirt that looks like fringe. Terry inherited this collar and a cape. They look really old. Add a cravat. Put on tall combat boots. Terry doesn't have a lot of money and expensive things, but she's proud to be a vampire. Ouch! Take that light away! I can't see anything! Come to our sale! Ooh, it's my lucky day! Someone threw away so many cool things. I'll light it up with magic. Well, I almost got it. Ha! I told you so. This apple core is mine. Cut a clear plastic box into pieces. Sprinkle the bottom with glitter. Decorate the box with them. Cover it with a lid and add the gold crown with a ruby to the top. What's in this gorgeous box? I'll tell you a secret. There are gold grills for fangs inside. Christy can't keep her eyes off them. How can you go without grills? The vampire countess is so rich that even her grills are made out of a special kind of gold. Of course, you need a jewelry box for a thing like this. Christy searched and finally found the right one. Make an umbrella out of a plastic lid. Cover the frame with a black trash bag. Terry's umbrella is so old that even the lightest chill could blow it away. The poor vampire hugs her favorite toy and falls asleep right on the ground. Luckily, vampires don't feel cold. But the sun appears at dawn. Ow, my skin! Where's my umbrella? 
Ah, that's better. Make a cup out of a glass tube and a wire. Attach a big rhinestone to the leg. Decorate the glass with precious stones and chains. Drinks taste even better when you use glasses like this. Christy turns each meal into a ceremony. Here is your glass, ma'am. What's this? I always drink from my goblet. The servant apologized and brought the right glass this time. Mmm, a tomato cocktail with a hint of metal. Yummy! Let's make a coffin out of thick cardboard. Cut out the bottom and the sides. Remove the top layer to make it look more worn out. Put a coffin together. Highlight it with black acrylic paint. Put some burlap fabric on the bottom and add an old pillow. Now Terry doesn't have to sleep on the ground. She'll be much more comfortable this way. Look at this beautiful cemetery. I like walking here every night. Ah, a tree branch. But I'm lucky. This poor thing will be okay outside too. Move a little. Finally, I have my own bed. Put together a bed for the vampire countess. Cover the cardboard coffin with glittery foam paper. Make a case for the mattress out of red satin fabric. Fill it with stuffing. Glue foam paper and decorate the bed with precious stones. Add a silk sheet and a silk pillow. A luxurious coffin is great for rest and reading gothic novels. Hmm. The countess is asleep. Don't wake her up. I woke up myself. Hi, gloomy world. Oh, I had such a nice sleep. It's time to brush my fangs. Cut a Ziploc bag and seal the edges with a lighter. Make noodles out of light clay. With tomato sauce, of course. Glue on the label so the vampires don't confuse their noodles with regular ones. An apple core for breakfast. And for lunch, Terry has some noodles. I'm having a delicious meal today. Mmm, tomato-flavored blood. Yummy! The vampire is finally full. Mmm. Cut folder holders into four identical parts. Glue them to the cardboard frame. Cover the attachment points with hot glue. Draw designs with puffy paint. Highlight it with gold acrylic paint and leave the frame to dry. Decorate with gold chains, a crown, and crosses with diamonds. We need to add some sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. We should put a portrait into a pretty frame like this. Cut out a picture of Christy and put it inside a frame. Oh, it's like looking in a mirror. Although it's been a long time since I was able to look into one. <laughs> since the Countess doesn't have a reflection, she went to a famous artist to get her portrait drawn. You'll have to sit still for a while. Believe me, it's worth it. The artist created a real masterpiece. The Countess loved it and paid the artist well. And the artist gave her an expensive frame as a gift. Cut a violin out of cardboard and glue it. Highlight it to look like wood and make it look older by removing a layer of paint. Make a neck and inserts out of a coffee stirrer. A fishing line can become strings. Let's pull on them. Write R.I.P. A case like this will protect the violin from any bad weather. Terry doesn't have a lot of money, but she does have a lot of talent. Everyone, living or dead, loves to hear her play. One day, Terry took out her violin and started playing. The Countess was passing by. Christy stopped to listen to this wonderful music. The sounds of the violin brought back some old memories. The Countess gave the girl a huge tip to thank her for playing such a nice melody. Terry's talent helped her earn a lot of money. Now she can start a completely new life. Give us a like, subscribe to Lalaloo, and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos.